Let me guess. Your laptop freezes when you open Chrome and Spotify at the same time? And you keep telling yourself, I'll start when I get a better PC. There's a lie every beginner believes. That you need a monster PC to start 3D. But here's the real question. Is your laptop actually stopping you? Or is fear doing the job for it? The belief that you need a powerful PC to start 3D alone has stopped more 3D careers. Let me show you what people with weak PCs actually do differently. Here's the part nobody tells beginners. The first six to nine months of 3D learning don't require a powerful PC at all. At the beginning, you're learning. Modeling basics, simple materials, lighting fundamentals, composition, camera angles. All of this runs perfectly fine on low-end or mid-range laptops. Your PC only becomes a real problem when you start. Heavy simulations, high-poly sculpting, large cinematic scenes, advanced rendering. And by that time, you should already be good enough to justify an upgrade. Here's the crazy part. Starting on a weak PC might actually make you a better artist in the long run. Sound backwards, but here's why. When your PC is weak, you're forced to optimize your scenes, keep your topology clean, use low poly workflows, think before creating. You learn discipline instead of brute force. Artists who start on powerful PCs often become lazy with optimization. Artists who start on weak machines become problem solvers. And in the real industry, problem solvers last longer than GPU flexors. Older versions of tools like 3DS Max, 2009 to 2012, or lighter alternatives run smoothly on weak hardware, exposing timeless core features without bloat. Blender users learn to disable heavy features, example, EV previews, and use simplified scenes, fostering creativity over reliance on real-time previews. Having weak hardware forces you to chill out and not pile on every shiny feature, keeping your projects modular and iterative instead of bloated messes. It's like patient gaming on a potato PC. You learn to savor the basics, which builds rock-solid skills that shine in pro product viz or game assets. Okay, so if you don't need a monster PC, what's the minimum setup that actually works for learning 3D in 2025? Here's the realistic truth. To learn 3D properly, you only need 8 gigabytes RAM, 16 gigabytes is better. Any modern CPU, even i5 or Ryzen 5 level. Basic GPU or integrated graphics to start. SSD storage, this matters more than people think. With this, you can learn Blender, model everyday objects, create simple scenes, do basic animation, build your first portfolio. You won't be making Pixar movies yet, but you'll be building real skill and that's what actually changes your life. But what if your laptop is really struggling? Freezing, crashing, barely loading scenes? Do you quit? Or is there a smarter way to survive this stage? Here's what I'd do. If I was starting on a bad PC, I would. Use low poly workflow only. Avoid heavy modifiers. Render with EV instead of cycles. Keep textures small. Break big projects into small parts. And most importantly, I focus on skill building, not flex renders. Because nobody hires you for your GPU. They hire you for your thinking and consistency. Here's the truth that hurts a little. Most people don't delay learning 3D because of PC power. They delay because of fear of being bad, fear of wasting time, fear of failing publicly, fear of starting late. That I need a better PC excuse just sounds more logical. But the real upgrade you need first is not hardware, it's commitment. Now, upgrading does matter, but only at the right stage. In another video, I'll show you exactly when an upgrade makes financial sense, not emotional sense, and how to avoid wasting money on power you don't yet need. If you're serious about starting 3D, even with a weak PC, subscribe to this channel. I post real guidance, not fantasy setups. Comment below. Weak PC if you're starting with limited hardware. Upgrading soon, if you're saving for a better setup. And if you want my free 12-month step-by-step Blender learning roadmap, comment roadmap. I'll give it to you in the next video. Your PC doesn't define your future. Your consistency does. See you in the next one.